This is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to do some basic retexturing. So, what I'm going to be retexturing today is going to be uh, just the simple jacket. Uh, I'm going to do a retexture of the BDU jacket. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go to the config file that has all the gear. And then actually, first of all, I'm going to overwrite this. So that way I will be able to access the uh, new new jacket. And then what I can do is uh, go to the original one. I can go copy that, paste that here. And then I will go either duplicate or inherit. I would go, I'm going to go with inherit because I'm just doing a basic retexture. Now I'll put that in here, and there we go. The prefab for this in the is now in the arsenal box. So what I can do now is I can start to go retexture it. So first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this. And I'll go to this go test, and I'll leave it here for now, so that way I can click on it again, and then easily find the uh, the other texture that is needed for the. Uh, the Warren model, which will be here somewhere. There it is. So now that I got these two, you can also rename the folder if you want. I'll actually, I'll actually just do that quickly. So now that I have that, I will go take the item one, place that here, go to the base loadout, add material overrides then put them in the spots they are needed and there we go also one thing to note is if the texture I mean the prefab with the model is using more than one texture you can add a separate one and then you can add the secondary texture and um, you can look in the model to see whether or not it's in the right place and if it's not in the right place that means you have to change the order of where it is so you can just hold and drag it up and then uh, it'll change and that's pretty much how you do that however this this model is only using one texture so only one is required additionally if you want to do some other things like the name the description the weight all that stuff you can do it here also this is an important thing but Certain prefabs, like this jacket for example, has a preview model of the original and will not show your retexture. So in order to show the retextured version of the jacket, you have to click on this, the, uh, the preview worn model. And then also you can, uh, up here you can change the uh, faction affiliation that this, uh, that this clothing is affiliated with. I'm not going to change that right now because I don't have any other factions to use for it right now. But now that you have that done, prefab, all of that stuff with the prefab is now complete, so now it's on to the actual retexturing. So we're going to first start with the actual main jacket because that is the more important one. So what you will need, let's go all the way down to the bottom and then you'll see the BCR texture. You go find that. Now you want to go extract this image out and uh, the easiest way to do that and uh, honestly probably the only real way to really do it is to scroll in 100% and then after that you go start screenshotting some images Then one good thing to note that while you're doing this is that you're going to this is all dependent on your monitor size. So I have a 1080p monitor, so this will take a few more. If you had compared to, for example, if you had like a I don't know maybe a 4K monitor, for example, 
and it would, it would take more images if you had like a lower resolution monitor. But for my 1080p monitor, I only need like about maybe like six images because I got this corner here. Then I have the next corner, and then after that, I got to do some part in the middle. And then a good way to know is that find something easily recognizable at the edge of your texture. So I'll take uh, I'll either this black part of the camo or maybe this this brown part here. I'll remember that and then move it down and then make sure those parts that I remembered are still visible. And then that way I'll take a new screenshot. And then finally I will go down to the last corner. And you don't need to remember anything here because the image, the thing you would remember here at the bottom is still going to be able to be seen because the resolution is, is big enough in order to see that. However, one thing to know is that you have to be here in the full screen in order to have this, these amount of images. And then pretty much you just keep, you keep going until the rest of the texture. However, I already have this texture extracted, so I don't need to worry about it right now. But that was just to show it off. One thing to note that I forgot to mention was when you're taking screenshots of the texture, make sure you also get the uh, alpha map stuff. So for example, for this jacket, this would be the roughness texture. Make sure to get this too, so that way your texture is fully complete. And this will be uh, important for later on when I show actually building the texture. But now that you have those textures, you now want to, uh, first of all, see what the resolution of the texture is. This one is uh, it's about 2048 by 2048. And then you would want to go here and then the, go to the predefined and see the texture. This has the same resolution, so you click on that, you go create that, get rid of the background, and now we have the base template for what we're going to need. Then after that, actually, go to where we save those images and uh, open up many documents. And pretty much just crop out all of the unnecessary stuff here. And then I will also do the one before because I'm going to show off a uh, tactic on how to actually line it up properly. So now I have those two textures here that are fully complete. Well, I guess they're cropped out at least. Then you want to go back and then pretty much you want to go individually put piece by piece all the pieces. So this one was for the corner, I believe. So you go line it up with the corner. The corners are the easiest ones. And then after that, you'll have this other piece and the middle pieces are usually the most difficult ones because you have to do some more lining up, but I pretty much just lower the opacity and then find some parts on it that are matching. But you got the but you got the idea though. All right, there we go. Now it is properly lined up, and we have a bit of an extension to the texture. And basically you just keep repeating that for the rest of the texture until it is fully complete. Now, as you can see, I have all the textures pretty much for the BDU. Though I will note, I do have the original texture where before it got updated in, uh, I think it was the 1.0 update, so I have the original color scheme of it. But it's the same texture, it's just different colors. So I will use that. And uh, basically what you want to do is, um, let's say you want to do a camo retexture. You'd go to your camos, and uh, this is a completely separate thing. 
but pretty much you just have a I don't know you basically just go create the camouflage using a base texture and then you apply a fabric texture as an overlay and then pretty much just have it scaled properly to um, whatever the camo size on your gear is and then that's pretty much the basic idea really so I think what I'll use is um, I'll go with I guess I'll go with OCP I guess so I have this camo in here and the, since I have the fabric texture and everything on it this will look good on the retexture and then additionally what you can do is for the separate details that are not going to be included with if you just slap the camo on you're gonna have to go manually like crop those out so I'm gonna take for example this is the the undershirt that is on the BDU control C and then control V and as you can see now we have the undershirt here on the uh, OCP BDU and then basically you just do that for the rest of them but now after that you go merge all of the stuff here and then finally you will go add the the uh, alpha um, the roughness map and then you go convert that to transparency mask and there we go all right so now that i have this custom texture i can go save that out i'll do underscore test and underscore bcr make sure to include this as this is going to be important this is base color and roughness if in case you were wondering we'll go save that we'll go back in here navigate to the uh, file here and then I will move this custom texture here and then I will put the texture here and there we go there is a retexture of the jacket now there is one thing to note for jackets and pants and all that there will also be a bloody texture that will be needed so what we can do now is we can go back to the original texture and uh, make sure to get rid of the uh, roughness just have the base texture and then what you want to do is you will want to go actually first of all go go screenshot the alpha roughness of the bloody texture of your jacket or pants this will be important for later but once you have that you will then want to put that in and then copy this three times now that you have that you will need a solid red color this is the red I'm choosing so if you want to you can maybe like take a screenshot of the video and then copy that color and then just apply it as the same resolution and then after that you would copy this two times and then you move one of the alpha at the bottom move that here and then for one of the roughness channels you will go here and invert one of them and then you go do this and there we go now we have the bloody texture on it but now what we need to do is merge all of that and then convert that and then call it underscore like bloody or actually I think in the game they use they use the term uh, wound alright so now that you have that you will need to go back to your original texture that you made put that in here and then there we go and then in order to see what that would look like you would disable this and this is what it would look like personally I would make the dirt color more saturated if you're using the red color that I was using or you could just maybe make the original color more saturated but I think this looks a little bit better 
and then if you think it's a bit too much then you can always lower the uh, opacity here of the dirt that well I guess dirt in quotation marks but the for the bloody texture typically for the custom one I would like to do 2.5 I think that gives enough blood to where it's it's bloody enough but it you're still able to see the um, original jacket and then make sure to uh, re-enable that and that's pretty much how you do a custom texture you pretty much have to do the same thing for the item model however this one is going to be easier because there's no bloody texture and it is only it's only these two textures so that's pretty much it for this video so hopefully this helped you in creating your uh, basic textures for armor forgery